Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and I thought I'd talk to you a little bit before I go into what I'm gonna do. I am working on the base pages for my December daily, so I just wanted to kind of walk you through my process, and then I will fast forward and show you a couple of things I'm gonna do. Okay, so before I do anything for December daily, I, whoops, make a little noise. All right, I go through my phone, so that's where I keep my calendar, and I write down all of the holiday -y things that I'm going to be doing so that way I make sure to leave on those days um, plenty of room so like on days when like the six let's say December 16th I'm not really planning on doing anything so I know for that day I'll have to have some sort of filler day or I just I won't need like a bigger picture or to, to do a six by eight layout. Oh, sorry. So I should probably share. This is the album I'm going to be using for my December daily. And it's the one from Simple Stories. And I haven't decorated it yet, obviously. <laughs> so my that will be my size. It's the, sim, it's the exact same size as the December daily I did in 2013. I do December daily every other year, and by that I mean I did one in December, I did one in 2013, and now I'm doing one again in 2015. So my days don't, my my years don't really, we do the same thing pretty much every year. So I didn't think I necessarily needed to do one every year. So now one of the items I have is for uh, November 29th, but we're going to a Christmas jazz concert. So I thought it was, I would just pop it in one of the days probably actually the 1st of December because I it's a Tuesday so I don't really have anything planned so other than that I just kind of write down just to remind myself when to leave myself plenty of room because I'll probably take more than one photo so this is what I keep all my December daily stuff in and have some extra pages and you'll see it's pretty empty and that's because I haven't gotten in all the embellishments that I'll be using for my December daily because, well, I just ordered them through uh, Scraptastic because they had some extras for their stocking stuffer kit. I did not buy their stocking stuffer kit, um, but I did purchase some of the extras from their stocking stuffer kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and so these are the numbers I'm going to be using. I had originally, these are from Freckled Fawn last year, and I had originally planned to use them for another project, but I decided to use them on this instead. And then I just pulled some flair from my stash, and this is part of a kit that my mom actually bought for me as a gift. And then I cut these out of my silhouette while I was doing some Christmas cards. So I just thought they were cute. So none of these, except for the numbers, will go on until like I, what I do is I, usually on Sunday mornings, I print out all my photos on my Canon selfie, because usually on my December daily, I use my Canon selfie. And then I just go through the week. I've already pre-written the journaling and the base page is already set. So it only takes me probably about 45 minutes to go ahead and complete a week's worth of six by eight layouts. Now, as I said, my mother purchased me this kit and it's from scrapbook.com and it came with the album, half a pack of enamel dots, and I of course will be adding more to that because that's not enough enamel dots for me. And it came with actually this, you could actually go page by page and just copy this entire thing, which I think is neat if you wanna do that. That's not what I'm going to do, and then I just have some extra glitter paper. It also came with these, sorry guys, I'm gonna make some noise. snap pages and pockets. So I'll intermix those with my page protectors for layouts. The element sticker sheet, no, I'm sorry, the fundamental sticker sheet. And then this is the expression cardstock sticker sheet. And then just several papers. And they did a red foil, which is really nice. So that will be what I'll be using for my kit. Oh, and then I just grabbed a whole bunch of thickers and uh, alpha stickers in order to 
fill in with that. And I've got a couple more things coming, but that, like I said, that will go on afterwards. And most of these will go on afterwards as well. I will just be using the, I will just be doing the base pages and the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to clean up, pause it, and then when I come back, I'll be on fast forward, which of course will feel like that to you guys. I hope y'all are having a great holiday season and I will see you in a second. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to emboss all of my freckled fawn wood veneer, and I'm using four different embossing powders, and I'm just trying to make sure that no two consecutive numbers use the same color. This one is the Ranger Red Tinsel. I also use three different colors by Stampendous, and I will show you those after I finish going through the red. Now, once I smoosh my wood veneer into the Versamark pad, I just kind of liberally cover, color, wow, liberally cover it with the embossing powder and then hit it with my heat gun. Now, I'm only going to be showing you the red because this is pretty repetitive and boring. So <laughs> once I show you the bottles of the colors I use, I'm going to go back to being live. So I apologize if the transition's a little rough. I'm trying to make it as... Okay, the red is done, and now I'm just going to clean up with a dry dye. Okay, so now I have all of my numbers embossed in the gold, the silver, the black, and the red. And I've got pretty much all the glitter gone. I don't think it's ever going to all go away, and I've got it all over me, but we're good to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is decide what I want to have as each of my days layout. So... I'm going to pull these out of here, my little page protectors. Sorry, I don't want to get glitter all over my page protectors. Okay, so I separated out into the six by eights, the four three by fours, the two three by fours, and a four by six, the Oh, that is actually supposed to go here. And then all there are two pages that are a whole bunch of two by twos, but I think it's super fun, especially for the days when you don't have a lot. So you can use these pages to really decorate. And then uh, the two four by sixes. So I'm looking at my calendar and I'm just gonna go through, and I'm, oh, sorry, I'm also gonna fill in with these snap pages. So it won't just all be page protectors, which is why I don't have 31 page protectors. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna put you guys back on fast forward while I do this and I'll just kind of quickly go over. And what you'll see is on the days I have stuff for, I'll either choose a special page or I will do a double page. Okay, so back on fast forward. Okay, so I am flipping through these snap pages and pockets, and I decide that's going to be my front cover one. And now I'm just going through and making sure the days I'm doing something holiday-ish, that I have plenty of room, or I have the full. Okay, so I have my pages picked out for my days, and now I'm going to stick it back into my album. Well, no, I'm going to do my base pages first and then I'm going to stick it back into my album. Hello. So all I'm going to do is add my numbers and the base layers of the cards. So I'm going to put you guys back on fast forward and you can watch me do a couple. I'm not going to make you all watch the whole thing, but you'll get an idea. And then once everything is complete, I will do a full album flip through. So I'll uh, go on fast forward right now. Bye. Okay, so I've stuck that number one down in the upper right hand corner of that page. It's a six by eight fold out page that I'll show you when I do a, a flip through of my base pages. And one thing I do is I, well, I write it down and then I'm just going to put it in my phone in messages. I just write down what size photos I have for that day. Now I have no issue editing my photos if I have to. And I will go ahead and do that. Now, the one thing I am going to show you before going to the base, pa base paper flip through is just how I use some fundamental stickers to make this plain 12 by 12 piece that I cut down into more of a project life style card. 
So I take these three bells, and then I'm also going to add three word stickers. I just did not find a, a card I wanted because there was so much red already with, between the truck and then the bold stripe. I would wanted something that had a little bit of darker. So that card is complete, and now I'm just going to glue the two down over where that, well, fake label basically is. And now that page is complete. Okay, so I have finished putting together my base pages, and I will do a quick flip through. Now, as I said, you're going to be seeing very simple with the numbers and stuff and not much decoration. I did do a couple of them, and I'll explain why when I hit them. So here we have my opening page, and then one. Now see here, I didn't have a three by four card I wanted to use, so I just used a sticker sheet and made my own like little decorated card. Now these are the ones you saw in the video, so you'll see there's an empty one here for a photo, and the same thing there, and I can always take one out if I need to add, add an extra photo, and then the four by six vertical cards. There weren't any four by six and uh, page protectors in my kit. So I just punched a hole in them and used them as kind of like filler cards. I might put a photo over them or I might just leave them the way they are. I am probably gonna go back and for all the ones that are outside of page protectors, get some reinforcements just to make sure they don't get ripped out accidentally. So here is six and uh, day six and day six will start here and then here and then also here because we are planning on doing something on that day. Same thing with, uh, sorry, no, this is day seven and I did kind of add a few things to this because once again, I just used a 12 by 12 paper I cut down for this. And then day eight is going to have um, this little bookmarky thing and then I just had this one it's again another filler card and I could put a photo there if I wanted to and then this upper part of the four by six and then there's the thing for the day eight now the day nine I ended up not gluing it down because I did end up using this if my photo fills this and there isn't a place to put the nine I will simply get something else to go here and put the nine there because I wouldn't want to put it over here because it would look awkward because there isn't really a space for it. So here is for 10 and 11 and 12. Here's where I used the first of the two by twos. And what I did was I took both pieces and I glued them back to back with a bit of pattern paper behind it. So it's a bit thick, but overall my December daily isn't going to be awfully thick, so I wasn't really concerned about it. And it's it's very snug in there, so I don't think it's going to fall out. So I just pop these in, and then I'll pop other uh, photos, oh my goodness, photos in, and whatever I don't fill in, I will figure out something else to do. And then there's 13. And this is also going to be for 13. Now, this is the one that has a little pocket in it. On, uh, on the 13th, we plan to do a day of baking. So what I was hoping is that I could take recipes for the different types of cookies we're baking that day and pop that in there. So 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I did this twice. I did this in this one, I did it in another one too. Put the, the number where the star was. 20, and then this will also be for 20. And then here's 21, 22, 23. Now this actually had a stick, this on the pattern paper said 25. So I just covered it up with a sticker um, because I thought it would be awkward with the 23 down at the bottom here. And then all of these are 24, because we do our big family celebration on Christmas Eve. So I wanted to make sure I had quite a bit. Um, I might leave this, but then like put something over here, and then also another six by eight layout I can do there. And then here's 25, and I did add a couple stickers down to the bottom of this. I just thought that was really cute. And then what I did here 
was I added in this page for journaling. I don't have to use it for journaling, obviously. I can cover it up or add things to it. And then I added these kind of memory things so I could do, because this point we're at the end of the month when I get here, so fill out some of the things and then um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this. I just kind of put this here just in case I wanted to use it here. So I will figure out something. I can also do more, another layout right here for December 25th, and then also fill out this. Now these don't necessarily have to stay here. If anything, I'm going to change up, it'll be these pages, so we'll see what happens. And then I added this as well for the 25th, and I thought I could put a photo over here because meet me under the mistletoe. This is a, for the 26th, and this is my niece's birthday, and it's not super appropriate. So I have the 26th on this page, and then the 27th, 28th, 29th, another little filler card, 30th, and the 31st. Now I added this extra one at the end because sometimes I get really good photos on the 31st, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> so we'll just see what it happens. I'll either add photos at the end of here, or I won't, and uh, either way we'll be happy. Okay, that is my flip through. I will come back in hopefully January and show you guys my completed daily, December daily. Uh, if you have any questions about my process, uh, just leave a comment. If you could flip me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. I hope you have a great day, everyone. Have a fabulous holiday season if you celebrate. If not, have an awesome December. Bye.